Happy New Year, everybody. James here. And uh, we're going to be out in this cotton field and probably the field alongside it, which is a bean field. Looking for evidence from the Civil War out here. Anyway, um, yeah. January the 1st, 2024. Obviously, this is not posting January the 1st, 2024. Because you would have had the three fort sites that Mrs. H and I visited out in St. Martin prior to this. If you haven't watched them, I recommend it. You get a chance to see the forts without actually having to go to St. Martin. So uh, that being said, uh, appreciate you tagging along and let's see what we find. <clears throat> Obviously, I was very good with my uh, figuring out where it was at. It's probably going to be iron. It did sound good. So let's see if it came out in that. I suspect it's gonna be iron. I need a cut now. Oh no, hang on. Oh there you go, a bit of lead. Alright then. Still lead to be found out here. Bit of camp lead. Have to see if there's anything else in the hole. Alright, talk to you in a little bit. Got a very, very small signal, but it was a clean signal. Uh, it's in this clump. I can see something right here. I suspect it's going to be a square nail that was probably in a fire. Yep. Look at that. Virtually no rust on it. Looks like it was a botch, uh, box tack. But it's been in a fire. So it's, it's weird out here. You find... Uh, cut nails that have been in fires and it's like uh, the temperature change makes them resistant to the rust so that's cool I'll take that that's a it's always nice to find nails like that well finally got a bullet it was deep too easily 10 inches down very faint signal in fact it didn't even get strong at all but I've got it out and it's here and I don't know if it's a drop or if it's fired or if it's melted. It looks like looks like it's going to be fired. There you go, 69 caliber. Let me give it a brush off. Hold tight. Okay. Well, I think it's fired. I'm quite sure, but it's definitely a 69 caliber mini ball. Well, for some reason the battery decided it was cold, but it's not. It's at 55%, or should I say low. Anyway, I uh, can't tell, but it's a 69 caliber. Happy to get it. I finally got a bullet out here. Uh, I'm actually gonna move over to the bean field now. All right, one last try. We're gonna move over to the bean field and see if we can find some more uh, fired 69 calibers or whatever else may be out there. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Got a signal, uh, still in the cotton field, uh, after finding that button, I mean crushing that bullet, I had to hang around a little bit more and I found a few more pieces of lead in the same vicinity. Dug this signal, and I don't know what it is, but it is green. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Guess that's a cartridge box fennel. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. There we go. All right, let's keep looking. Well, before I uh, discuss this find, let me just say that the smell of wild onions here is absolutely staggering what a beautiful odor mm. anyway so got a signal it is out the hole if i can find it again there it is okay and i just want to show how deep it was and what i've realized with the with this and it's just in a lot since i found that bullet 
I've been digging the, uh, wow, wow, the low to high ones. Well, I started digging the high to low, the, oh, oh, and that's why I've been finding all these pieces of lead. And this one, in this case, if I can find it, is a big old whopping piece of lead. Look at that. Melted lead. Let me uh, give it a brush and see if it, uh, any bullets can be seen. Well, no, I can't see any uh, rings. Oh, there may be some rings right there. Actually, there may be some rings right there you can see. Hopefully you can see those. But, um, yeah. Big old honking piece of lead. Probably some melted bullets. That's cool. All right, let's keep looking. So I promised myself I'd go to that bean field. I'm still in the cotton field. Got a signal, good signal, that, you know, high, low, high. And it looks like I've dug part of a bandit out. I think that might be the tip. But the thing is, in here, I've got more. I have more of the bandit, so I'm going to see if I can dig this out. Look at that, there's the uh, tri-blade right there. Holy cow. All right, I'll get back of you when I've got this out. Okay, I've got it loose. Oh, check that out. <laughs> wow. Check that out. Wow. Part of a Bennett. Holy cow. That's just amazing. Absolutely amazed. And that was easily, well, that's over a foot deep. Over a foot deep. Unbelievable. Super stoked with that. Super stoked. Well, folks, I decided to call it. I mean, why bother doing the bean field when you can do that good in the cotton field, right? Uh, bean field can wait for another day, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Depends how I feel. I've got some chores to do. But um, yeah, what a hunt, huh? Wow. Bullet, fennel, and then finally ending with a uh, bayonet, which I'm going to have to do some... Uh, uh, clean up and restoration on or at least preservation on it. So but anyway, I appreciate you coming along I see dirt is on my lens. Oh, well too late now, but uh, wherever you are in the world Happy hunting and good luck and above all else be safe. We'll talk to you later folks. See ya. Bye